Hi everybody, this is Donna with North Star Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm here to do Zodiac reading for Pisces. This is for August 15th to the 31st, okay? So um, let's just see here. We're going to get everything ready. Let's move that over there. Okay, so I hope everybody is having a good week. Or good month, I should say. I think I've got one of the other cards mixed in this deck. And I do. <laughs> because I'm using two decks. Easy to do, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. All right. So we're going to do, uh, this is the how you're coming into this, this uh, two weeks. Okay, so the end of the month. So how you're coming into the middle of the month. And then we're going to have work, home, and we're going to have relationships. These are romantic relationships, okay? And this is um, what you don't know or see. And this is the uh, outcome, okay? So basically, this is, a, again, this is the um uh, everyday witch tarot in case anybody wants to know okay so how you're coming into this uh 15th of the month um you're coming in as page of wands okay so i feel like things are going well you're very much uh willing to take risks you're willing to get going on what you like and you're willing to explore so you're at the very beginning of exploring something new okay and i feel like it's fun it's exciting it's new it it's spontaneous it's something that you want to do okay and look at all your options all right and i think that would be awesome um don't be afraid to look at something that you haven't looked at before um, don't be afraid to, you know, see what other people are doing and maybe listen to what other people are doing. You know, check things out, you know, and see what's available, right? Don't be afraid to do that. So that's how you're coming into this next two weeks. So during this next two weeks, you will, um, we've got justice reversed at work. Okay. So I feel like things are a little off. They're not totally off. It's still there, but it's just a little off. So things are not quite how you want them to be. There needs to be some improvements for you to feel things are in the right direction or moving in the right direction, okay? So I just feel like there may be, you know, maybe risks you haven't taken or you're taking too many risks and it might be throwing things off a little balance, okay? So make sure you're you're following, you know, um, following what you know it, you need to do and don't let, don't get distracted. Okay. So, um, keep things going in a, in a fair way. Um, don't get into any, um, uh, any, um, gossip about anybody. Keep your nose clean. Okay. That's really, really important because that will come back and haunt you. All right. So guaranteed there. All right. So home also includes other people in your life, friends and family, okay? Um, so definitely home here. And we've got the death card reversed. So there is something going on that's pretty significant, okay? So I feel like maybe you haven't been happy in a while. Maybe your family gives you a hard time. Maybe you don't feel like you belong. Maybe you feel a little bit like an outcast. So whatever that is, whatever that feeling is, maybe you lost somebody, right? And you're still mourning. So whatever that is, whoever you're missing, just know that this is changing, okay? It's no longer like this where it's like big and bad, you know, and like definite kind of uh, a very you know, big change, right? This is reverse. So it's saying that there is changes that need to happen, but you have a little bit of control over this, okay? The other way you have no control. This way you do have some control, okay? So you can kind of make some decisions there. And we will clarify. So this is romantic relationships, okay? So we've got the King of Swords. So somebody in your life is very articulate, very, very smart, very wordy, okay? So this, I'm not sure right now. We'll see when we when we clarify. But I'm just not sure 
how this relationship is going. With the death card being there, okay, this may be a little bit a uh, relationship that's a uh, too forceful, too strong. Maybe they're too mouthy, um, too e too full of ego. Um, I was going to say egoy, but I don't think that's a word. <laughs> so they're too full of their own ego. So it could be something like that. We will clarify and get to the bottom of this. But I just feel like, you know, if you're in a relationship, to be very cautious that you're, you have boundaries and you're not letting anybody walk all over you. Okay. And for some of you, I think that's what's happening. So you want to make sure you adjust that. And if you're not in a relationship, Maybe this was something in the past that you had to deal with, or maybe your father is like that, right? This could be, you know, someone that treated you poorly and affects your romantic relationships to this day, okay? So just be careful here that, um, like I said, when we clarify, we'll have a better idea, but moving forward, boundaries are, are really, really important, Okay. And then things that you're not aware of, you kind of are ignoring or you just don't see, right? And this is the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're honing your skills. You're really, really getting really good at what you do. You're, you're, you know, you, you create, you manifest, you work at it, you practice, you do all these things to become the best that you can be at what you love. And I think that's fabulous. Whether you read cards, whether you, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, whether you fix cars, whether you paint houses, whether you sew, it doesn't matter whether you stay at home and raise your children. It doesn't matter what you do. You know, this is really important and you work hard at it and you do a very good job. And this, I think, is here in this position because you need to give yourself a pat on the back. You know, you need to acknowledge your wins as well as your losses it's easy to acknowledge things when they're not going good but how do you acknowledge your wins you need to take time and give yourself a pat on the back okay you do a fabulous job here so the outcome here is the devil reversed so I feel that sometimes you get a little overwhelmed and sometimes I think that you wish things were easier that you wish you could just you know, win money to make things easier or that you had as much as the next guy, you know, these kinds of thoughts, right? Um, that you, you know, sometimes you think that, you know, life is a little bit too hard. How can you make it easier? Right. And I think, you know, it's okay to think that just don't dwell on it. Okay. Make sure you're not cutting corners anywhere. You know, you're not putting people at risk. You're taking care of things as they need to be. Okay. So we are going to use the mermaid tarot to, um, um, clarify. Okay. Let me just shuffle these up. And for me, I've heard over and over again that people have to clear their cards between readings. For me, shuffling is clearing, okay? I clear my cards as I shuffle. I put that intention in my cards. So don't worry about that, okay? So let's do work. So work, we've got the King of Cups and we have the Hanged Man. So again, justice is reversed, so things are not happening exactly as they should, okay? And there's a bit of a delay here. So I feel like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of opportunity to put a lot more emotion into your work and to have your work recognized, okay? But I also feel that there's there's a time and place. And right now there's a bit of a delay because I don't know whether it's restructuring at work or whether there's just not the support you need right now. Just give it a bit. Okay. Don't put yourself out too far. Don't be, don't be putting your neck out too far right now. Um, take care of yourself and look after yourself at work right now. Okay. That's really, really important. And I feel like everything will be okay. Um, trust yourself. Listen to your intuition and really don't get overly emotional. Okay. Don't let your emotions run you over or anybody else's at work. Okay. So don't let their emotions run you over either. Okay. Um, so at home, we have the six of pentacles and we have the eight of cups. 
So I believe that what's happened here, okay, with the death card there, that there's been a loss a while ago that you still have not dealt with. So there's some grief work you need to do. It's a family thing, okay? So I don't know whether one of your parents have passed or a grandparent or, you know, whoever it was, a cousin or whatever. But I really feel that there's some work to be done. And I think that you're not done with it yet, okay? Um, and it does leave, you know, it leaves you um, feeling bad at times. And I mean, we all, you know, I lost my dad, I don't know how many years ago, I was 17, I'm 63. So, you know, um, he he passed a long time ago, but I miss him like crazy. And sometimes it hurts. But I don't bring it into my life every day. And I can celebrate the fun things about him and I and our family, you know. So you want to make sure that you're dealing with this. If you need help, go get help with it. Grief work is hard, okay. And, you know, and maybe that needs to be done, all right. And, you know, um, it's okay if you're hurting, but you don't want to let it run you over okay just like you don't want your emotions to get out of whack at work you don't want your emotions to get out of whack at home either okay so just bear mind of that and be careful okay then we're going to clarify your romantic relationships we've got the king of swords then and we've got seven of wands and the emperor so that's very good okay so i feel like things are going quite well so um, you know, a little bit of indecision there, not sure where to go, what to do. Sometimes you feel like you have to protect yourself, okay, in relationships. All I think is required here is good boundaries. So whoever you're involved with, make sure you have really good boundaries, okay? If your partner is running you over, especially with their ego, with their words, things like that, make sure that you have um a way to handle that. OK, so you have boundaries in place and that you stick to them. OK, and if you don't, it's time to set some and then tell them what your boundaries are and you be willing to stick to them. OK, you can get help as well. OK, I think this is a counselor, something like that. Um, So you could definitely get help. OK, and I feel like there's no harm in that. And um there's no shame in it either. OK, so. You can always ask for help. If you're not in a relationship, I would suggest that you want to manifest what you want, not what you don't want. OK, so whatever's happened to you in the past, you have to know that that was the past. OK, it doesn't have to be the same moving on. All people are not the same, whether they're male, female, they are not the same. OK, we all are individuals. And we all have different morals, values, likes, dislikes, et cetera, et cetera, right? So just know that whatever happened to you before, you set some good, solid boundaries now before you get involved with someone, you won't have to worry about that, okay? Because you won't put up with it and it will never become a big issue, okay? So there you go, my dear. Um, also, what I see here is... Um, the, what you don't know was the Eight of Pentacles. That's giving yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. You also can manifest what you want, okay? You're very good at it. I feel like you just got to have to practice it, okay? So work on your spirituality. Work on learning how to manifest better. You know, asking for what you need. Maybe do some journaling to help you with manifestation. You know, stuff like that, okay? And know that you don't have to walk through life alone. You walk through life as um, as part of, not excluded from, okay? So make sure that you know that and you know, listen to the messages and the universe and see what it's giving you. OK, I think that's very important. So the outcome, we have the devil reversed. Now we have the four of cups and we have temperance reversed. So whatever's going on, make sure that you are taking charge, that you are deciding what you want. OK, things don't have to be humdrum and boring and just kind of like Oh my God, what am I going to do with myself next? You know, just feeling kind of isolated and 
just kind of out of step, right? So it doesn't have to be that way. Have patience with yourself when you're going through something like grief. You know, give yourself a little bit of break, okay? If you're going through some tough times here, setting some boundaries, give yourself a little bit of a break. You're not perfect and you need to sometimes just take a time out and just relax, okay? And you're very, very impatient with yourself. You're very patient with other people, but you're really not patient with yourself, okay? So you need to do that much, much better. Okay, so your outcome. As you leave August, uh, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. So this is very, very good, all right? So you're doing all this hard work, okay? And you're manifesting, you're you're knowing that you've got things going for you. You're starting to look at your achievements and then you're able to achieve in even more. Okay. So the direction changes. You're starting to feel like you're prospering. You're starting to feel like you're reaping rewards. Okay. So I feel like abundance is coming to you. All right. So things are going very, very good. Um, you know, sometimes out of a bad situation, you know, it, you learn how strong you are and you're able to make changes that enhance your life and not deter, right? So they, they just make your life even better, stronger, all of that stuff, right? So yeah, so that's what I see for you. Now we're going to pull an Oracle card. So just get these out of the way. And I took out these numerology um, guidance cards. And we're going to give that a shot and see what this is like. I haven't really used them very much, but yeah. So this is, you've got self-discipline, okay? So let's have a look at number 41 and see what that's all about. Self-discipline. This card indicates a need for self-discipline, motivation, and action to improve your quality of life. By drawing this card, you are being reminded that you need to meet the universe halfway because your dreams won't manifest by themselves. This is a time to clarify your goals and to plan and prioritize your ideas and actions. Then take the mental, emotional, and physical action needed to make your dreams come true. You are being encouraged to rein in any thoughts and emotions that are contrary to what you're trying to attract. Rather than letting your doubts and worries consume you, you must have the strength and willpower to focus predominantly on your dreams. You can attain those goals with a strong, disciplined mind when you surrender the outcome to the divine. Your affirmation is, with self-discipline and action, I make my dreams come true. Well, we did talk about manifesting, right? That you really, you're you're able to manifest and you can do that very, very well. Um, yeah, so just trust yourself, right? So there you go, my dear. I just want to say thank you for uh, being here. Um, and if you enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it. And hit that bell and you'd be notified when I come on and do live readings or any other videos that are posted. Okay, so you have a wonderful uh, rest of the month and uh, bright blessings, my dear. We'll see you soon.